Hey there, it's Mark. When I was going to set up at the SoCal Hot Wheels Collector Show in March, I went into the collection. It's like, what am I going to bring, you know, for the tables to sell? I went the first time in March to buy stuff. The second time I went to sell stuff. And I'm going through my pile, and I found this box. Whoa, 2015 LA Convention. Hmm. Am I going to bring these to the show? I don't know. Or am I going to just sell them on eBay? Sometimes it's just easier to sell on eBay. Besides, it was going to be the first time I sold at the show. So I don't know if I want to bring this stuff. I don't know what people want to buy at the show. So I did not bring these. But it's like, what is in this box? I, I don't remember. Because this box, see... Uh, this is actually for like printer labels. I got them from when I used to work at the post office. They would printer labels would be in there for the machine, and they throw the boxes. But I just keep the box because boxes come in handy, especially with uh, cars that are in protectors. They're kind of wider, so this was the perfect width for me to use for those. Let's go ahead and see what's in the box. There you go. Looks like uh, it looks like it's going to be all convention cars from this year. 29th annual collector's convention September it was a uh, September through October 4th in 2015 so it's the 29th annual but it's the uh, 2015 convention by the way uh, these people that do the convention in the fall it's called the collector's convention and then they have another show like uh, I guess spring and that will be the nationals it's run by the same people this one here Let's see, it's got a number... Well, I'll just take one out of the package. One? Let me see. It's the only one I have. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at the cars real quick. And then, afterwards, I'm going to talk about eBay. How to find out how much your car is worth. Uh-oh. Maybe I should keep it in. I don't want to hurry and mess it up. That's number 1140 out of 1200. 1200 is a very nice low production number so that helps the value of this car you'll have to excuse me if you see cat here because i've been taking care of a cat i call her patty she's a stray i don't know if did someone just abandon her or did she get away from her family i don't know see i keep getting her hair all over the place there you go it's okay graphics there is the show the souvenir information now, the dairy delivery, it was actually, the dairy delivery is the finale. When you attend, it costs, let's say, $75 to attend, and then you go to the Saturday night finale, you get a free car. Well, the car's free, but you paid $75 to attend, right? Uh, it's only available to attendees. <laughs> of course, a suitable finale license plate. On the back, you can see it's number four in a series of four for this year. I took a glance. I have all four cars from this convention in the box, so you'll get to see them. You can pause if you'd like to read the rest. Let's go ahead and pull out another car. Here we have 68 Mercury Cougar. Very nice. I love the Mercury Cougar. Love those wheels. Wheels on the dairy delivery aren't my favorite. I love to collect the dairy delivery, though. What? You've got the Circle Flame logo on there. I just noticed that official convention logo. Now this Mercury Cougar, this is a special dinner car. So like they'll have a event, typically on Thursday night, they'll have a dinner celebrating somebody from Mattel. And this one was for Rob Mathis. The dinner cars are very limited as well. And they always have this holographic serialized sticker. Speaking of stickers, when you pay to attend the dinner, it's not cheap. It's over $100, right? And you got to dress up. No shorts, no t-shirts. You got to dress up. It's a nice dinner. But when you, this one, there's, there's no extra sticker right here. So when they have the extra cars, they sell the extra cars to, oh, there you go. There's a sticker. They, they sell the extra cars to attendees uh, for whatever price. But when you pay to attend the dinner, you get one of these for free. And it has a sticker that honors the person being honored. Yeah, that was redundant. Does the sticker add value? Yeah, because 
there's a limited number that had the sticker. You had to be there, and it was only one per person. But when we go to buy extras, they typically allow us to buy like uh, two or three. It depends on how many cars were made. It depends on how many people uh, attend, right? So here's two. So this is like my wife's car, and then I had a car. And since I have four, that tells me I either got to buy... Oh, and since I have... Oh, that's not... Uh, Oh, I only have three. Well, it appears it appears I only bought one. So if I'm going to open one for my collection, I would open this one, and then I would let this one go. I already uh, let the cat out of the bag. It was this. Nope, same thing. I seen this car when I was searching eBay for values. I seen this car. Wow, that looks nice. And he's seen how much they were selling for. Just crazy amounts. The 71 Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon insane amounts and i will i will talk about those amounts afterwards as la 2015 for the uh, license plates here's the information on the back of that package the souvenir cars don't tend to honor a mattel employee they do give the information about maybe if an employee did the graphics and stuff like that now when you pay to attend the convention they allow you to buy souvenir cars this is a souvenir car you pay this it's an extra fee uh, but they have limits. You get a badge, and your badge will tell you what your limits are. So I have one, two, three, four. One, two, make sure I don't get them. Three, four, five. Nope. Oh my. Six. That's the next one. Any more? That's it. Wow, six. Let's check out the numbers. This one's number 785. Now, when I said that you you allowed to buy so many extras, well, not only that, I pay for my whole family to attend, and then I get the cars. I pay, my wife and I pay for the hotel. My wife and I pay for everything for the kids to attend. We have fun downhill racing. Ooh, 505, nice. Too bad it wasn't 510. That would be crazy to get 510, wouldn't it? Oh, so close, 508. Over 20 years we've been going to the conventions. Trust me, they're not. all the cars aren't worth as much as these cars. Uh, it's just kind of lately, and it depends, on, it depends on the car if it's worth money, right? Oh, I got part of my receipt. Just part of it. I have to find the other part. As a matter of fact, I can see it right there. So at that time, the cars were costing us $25 each. Two, two, two. Got the t-shirts, $20 each. They sell convention pins. That, uh, those are $5. Yeah, spend some money. It's okay. It's like a vacation. You've seen the Dodge Power Wagon already. But when I go to the convention, if I'm going to buy extras, certain cars you know you better buy extras of, right? So apparently I did buy a few of the Power Wagon. Got, uh, looks like three of them. And then something yellow on the bottom there. There you go. Beautiful purple color. Love those knobby tires. Hemi engine. You got Hemi in the deco. There's your convention logo. Man, that cat here gets everywhere. Good thing they're in protectors, huh? And LA Off-Road. That's what it looks like. LA Off-Road. Here's a look at the headlights. Let's see. Metal base. The wagon, probably metal base. How about that dairy delivery metal base yeah you pay $25 but they are they are adult premium castings there you go rubber tires metal body metal base so uh, very nice three of these let's check out the numbers only 2,000 produce and that's why these these things are climbing in value because for uh, collectibles that's a nice uh, low production quantity to be honest, nowadays the convention cars are like 5,000, 6,000. That's a lot. If you want to attend, it's fun to go. If you want to buy the cars, the souvenirs, it's fun to collect. That's what it's about. If you're buying to maybe the cars get worth more money, you better know what to buy. Which brings us to the last four in the box. You already can see the yellow. Cool combi. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. This is a pretty cool collectible. A lot of people like to collect a cool combi. Number 204. You, I haven't pointed it out. I'm sure you've seen it. There you go. 
This one's definitely a very desirable casting. Metal body. Let's see, does it have a metal base? Yep, looks like a metal base as well. Production quantity. 2,000 again, and this is, wow, number 223. The next one, number 656. Are we going to get any lowers? No. 1896. It's okay if it's a high number, because it's still a low production quantity. And last, coming into focus, oh, 523. Still pretty nice. Still fairly low compared to the 2,000 that were produced. But really, but in my opinion, the most desirable numbers are the ones that are in the lowest 10%. So maybe 200, even 20% would be the lowest. 20% uh, would be 400. Coming up after the break, we'll talk about how much these cars are worth right now and how do you find out that information. Why should you know how much something's worth? Maybe you want to buy it. Maybe you want to sell it. Maybe you want to trade for it. Maybe you have these two, or maybe you have one. Maybe you have this one. And then someone said, hey, I have this convention car to trade. You want to trade for this one? This one's more rare. There's only 1,200 pieces. This one's twice as much. 2,400 pieces. You know, so I'm going to give you the more rare one. The difference is, is that this one, it, there's a lot more people wanting this. So even though it has a higher production quantity, the demand is far more for this car than it is for the dairy delivery. So you should know what things are worth. How do you find out how, how much they're worth? When I first started collecting in 1998, I didn't know either, and I easily lost over $1,000 in trade value. Go to eBay, and in the search bar, type what you're looking for. Here I am showing you an important tip. I'm searching for Hot Wheels Convention, but I only want results that have 2015 or 29th in the title. Notice how it's in parentheses with a comma between them. No spaces. There cannot be any spaces or it won't work properly. Here's the top of the results. You can see that there are 44 results. I did get one Mercury Cougar, but the second item is a poster. I'm not interested in any posters, so how do I get rid of that? Go back to the search bar and add a minus poster. Put a space, put a minus, and then poster or whatever else you want to eliminate from your results. Here you can see convention cars. I got a couple results, but no poster. Here's the important part. On the left, you see this column right here? Scroll down and look for sold items. You're gonna wanna check that box. If you're on mobile, you're gonna look for a section like this right here. It might look different on everybody's devices. I don't know what yours might look like. You might have to scroll down again and look for show more. There it is. Completed items, sold items. You're going to want to select sold items, and I think it automatically puts completed as well. There might be something else for you to confirm your choices. I'm on a desktop computer, so all my screenshots from now on are going to be from my computer. As you can see, I got an RLC pink party car included. Let's refine my search to not include any RLC cars. You know what to do. Add minus RLC to the search bar and hit return. While I'm at it, let's go ahead and just look for the 68 Mercury Cougar. I don't have to put the full name, just put Cougar. There you go. Now I just have listings with the Cougar, unless eBay puts like a promoted auction in there. You can see the sales prices recently, or maybe you want to know the highest price with shipping. You can also sort by auctions or whether the seller offered a buy it now price. Let's go ahead and get an estimate for this box. I had three of the Cougars. It looks like it's selling for between $91 and $119. You can see the stickers. Remember, this was the dinner car, right? I don't see any difference in value whether it has a sticker or not. To be honest, if it has a sticker, I'm going to ask for like 10 bucks more. For now, let's just say they're $100 each. That's $300. How about that dairy delivery? It looks like it goes for between $70 and $100. Let's just say $80. Now we're up to $380. I might keep that dairy delivery and a cougar for my collection. Let's check the power wagon. The most recent one is $175 and $250. $128. Wow, big difference. $128, $250. Let's just use $170 as an average. I have three, so that's another $510. Now we're up to $890. Not a bad box so far. Who's up fourth? Just like baseball is the cleanup batter. This one's really going to put some points on the board. $999, $777, $760. That bottom one, $299. That one, look, someone had it loose and it still got $300. 
I'm going to use 800 as an average. Remember, one of mine is a low number, and that one will likely fetch a higher price. Six of them times eight, $4,800 just for the wagons. That brings the box up to $5,690. Last up, that cool combi. That one's fetching high dollars too. Most recently, $592, $150. Oh, Malaysia, we don't talk about that. $533, $660. Let's take a low number of 550. I got four, four times 550. Add another 2200 to the pile, $7,890. It's important for you to know how much your stuff is worth. And I don't need this much money sitting around, so I'll be selling it. If you're local to Montebello, California, I can give you a bit of a deal, a little bit. Don't be asking for half off. Otherwise, I'll be slowly putting them on eBay and they will have a fixed buy it now price. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.